Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss Kohenen self organizing feature map with the help of a simple solved example. This is the solved example number one. Link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, uh, we need to construct the Kohenen self organizing net with uh, two cluster units and uh, five input units. We can see here y1 and y2 are the cluster units, x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5 are the input units in this case. The weights uh, for these uh, cluster units is given to us. W1 is the weight with respect to Y1. W2 is the weight with respect to Y2 here. We need to use the square of Euclidean distance to find the winning cluster for the input pattern. So the input pattern is given to us. We need to use the square of Euclidean distance and then we need to identify the uh, winning cluster between Y1 and Y2 here using the learning rate uh, 0.25. Once you identify the winning cluster, we need to update the weights for that uh, cluster in this case. So this is the input vector given to us uh, consisting of uh, five components here. Alpha is equal to 0.25, that is nothing but uh, the learning rate here. The weight vector W is given by, it is already mentioned in this uh, network here. So Wij is equal to, you can see here with respect to Y1, the weights are 0 0.1, 0 0.9, uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.5 and 0 0.3. So those are the weights I have written in this uh, first column. And uh, the weights with respect to Y2 are 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.9 and 1.0 I have written in the second column here. So the first column weights are with respect to the first cluster. Second column weights are with respect to second cluster in this case. Now we will apply Kohenen self-organizing feature map algorithm and then we will identify the winning cluster for this uh, input vector. For that reason, as said earlier, we need to calculate the Euclidean distance. To calculate the Euclidean distance, we use this uh, formula. Euclidean distance with respect to jth cluster is always equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to n here. n in this case is uh, the number of uh, input units. In this case, we have 5 input units. So, we will take uh, summation of i is equal to 1 to 5 here. Wij minus xi bracket square. So, uh, what we need to do is we need to expand this equation uh, 5 times because i will go from 1 to 5 here. Uh, for uh, j is equal to 1 for cluster 1 and j is equal to 2 for cluster 2 here. So, when you put j is equal to 1, d of 1 is equal to w11 because uh, i is equal to 1, j is equal to 1 minus x1. Again, i is equal to 1 here bracket square plus i will become 2 here, w21, j will not change, j is equal to 1 only, minus x2 bracket square. Next, it will be w31, uh, because i is equal to 3 here, minus x3 bracket square, w41 minus x4 bracket square, w51 minus x5 bracket square here. This is uh, the Euclidean distance with respect to cluster 1 here. Now, we need to put the values here, w11 is known to us, that is nothing but 1.0 x1 is known to us, that is nothing but 0 here. So, that is what I have written in the first uh, part of this equation. W21 is equal to 0.9 and uh, x2 is equal to 0.5, that is what is written here. Similarly, I have written the remaining components here. And once you solve this equation, you will get D1 is equal to 1.34 in this case. Similarly, we need to calculate D2. So, what we need to do here is, uh, we need to replace this uh, J by 2 and i will be replaced from 1 to 5 here and uh, once you solve it and uh, put the values uh, d2 will be d2 is equal to 0.3 minus uh, the first component that is 0 bracket square second one is 0.5 minus 0.5 bracket square 0.7 minus uh, 1.0 bracket square and so on now once you solve it you will get d2 is equal to 1.34 in this case so d1 is equal to 1.34 and d2 is equal to 1.34, that is nothing but the Euclidean distance from this input vector to the cluster y1 and y2 is equal to 1.34 in this case. Because uh, the Euclidean distance is equal in this case, uh, what we do in the Kohenen self-organizing map is, uh, we will select the cluster with the lowest index as the winning uh, cluster here. If uh, D1 is less than D2, we would have considered the first cluster as the winning uh, cluster. If D2 is less than D1, D2 will be con uh, Y2 will be considered as the winning cluster. 
But in this case, we have D1 is equal to D2. So what we do? We will select uh, the lowest index uh, uh, cluster number as the winning uh, cluster in this case. So in this case, uh, Y1 is having the lowest index. So we consider Y1 is the winner in this case. And uh, J will become what? 1 in this case. Now uh, the input uh, vector will be mapped to cluster 1 here. Once you map uh, this input vector to cluster 1, next we need to update this uh, weight matrix with respect to, to uh, cluster 1 here. That is this column we need to update here. Now the question comes in front of us, uh, how to update the weights? Uh, to update the weights, we need to use this equation Wij new is equal to Wij old plus alpha multiplied by Xi minus Wij old here. So J value is known to us. J value is how much? 1 in this case. So this equation will become Wi1 new is equal to Wi1 old plus alpha Xi minus Wi1 old here. Now uh, we need to update the different weights here. That is uh, uh, this is nothing but W11, W21, W31, W41 and W51. So I will go from here to here. I will go from 1 to you can say that 5 here. So first we will consider I is equal to 1. It will become W11 new is equal to W11 old plus alpha. I is 1 here. So that's the reason X1 minus W11 old here. So W11 old is known to us. That is 1.0. So this will become 1.0 here. And uh, alpha is known to us, that is uh, 0.25. And x1 is known to us, that is nothing but uh, 0 here. Minus w11 old, that is 1.0. That is what I have put in this equation here. So once you put all these uh, values and then uh, simplify uh, this equation, you will get w11 new is equal to 0.75 here. Similarly, we need to calculate a w21 new, which is equal to w21 old plus alpha x2 minus w21 old here. So wherever the value of i is there, we need to replace it by 2 here. Again, w21 old is equal to how much? 0 0.9. Alpha is known to us, that is 0 0.25. x2 is known to us, that is uh, 0 0.5. w21 old is equal to again 0 0.9. And once you put all these values and solve it, you will get 0 0.8 as w21 new in this case. Similarly, we have to calculate a w31 new, which is equal to 0 0.775. W41 new is equal to 0.5 and W51 new is equal to 0.225 in this case. Now, once you calculate uh, the updated weights, we need to replace the old weights with respect to uh, the new weights here. So, Wij is equal to this 1.0 will be replaced with uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.9 is replaced with 0 0.8 and so on. And the new weight uh, matrix looks something like this. Uh, this is how uh, what we can do is we can map the given input vector to one of the cluster as well as we can update the weight matrix in this case. So this is the simple example I have considered to uh, explain the coherent self-organizing feature map. I hope the concept of coherent self-organizing map is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.